One of the things that I've heard Ray talk about is the idea of good lives and how varied those can be and the virtue of living a very good normal life, being a very good small business owner, being a very good employee at your company, being a very good parent or a very good homemaker and all of those things being equally valuable and equally worthy as a life path. And I find that very beautiful about your overall philosophy of what you do. How innate is that to Montessori versus the work that you do at Guidepost and the spin that you put on Montessori's philosophy? Yeah. I think it, it the, the grains are there in Montessori. Um, I don't think she explicitly named it the way that we have. And so I don't think it's universal. I don't think every Montessori school would agree with us that this is the end goal. Um, I think it is absolutely consistent with her philosophy uh, and and how she thought about people. Um, but I do think that we've gone that extra step of of naming it and stating it. And And what does that mean, right? Like when we think about what it means to be a good person, right? It's such a loaded term. They already mean something else. You know, half of our uh, junior and senior liberal arts course in high school is debating what is the good life. <laughs> um, Can I take that? Yeah. That sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for us, we go back to those four values. So what does it mean to live a good life? Whether you are, you know, a mom of 12 or... Um, you know, a small business owner or, um, you know, an explorer in the North Pole or something totally different. Those were the three most disparate things I could come up with. I don't know why those three, but whatever you're doing, what does it mean to live a good life? It means a life where you are living in accordance with those four values, right? So you have some work that you love doing. You're exerting effort in your day-to-day life. You're being personally ambitious, you are trying something, right? Something that you're doing takes effort and work and you see some efficacy at the end of that road. Um, You care about knowledge within your sphere. You care about understanding the impact of your work in the world, um, about what your business is doing and, you know, whether you are opening Montessori schools or you are running a bookshop or you are, you know, a line cook at a restaurant, it matters to you that it's done well and you care about understanding your sphere, right? Whether you're learning more techniques to make your, you know, garnish on the plate, which was what I did when I was briefly a terrible line cook, look as beautiful as possible or or you're learning about, you know, whatever sphere you're in. Um, you know, agency, you are making independent choices. You're setting goals for yourself. You're achieving those goals. When you fail to achieve those goals, you're thinking about why. (laughs) You're picking yourself up, reevaluating the goal, reevaluating the process, and trying again. And humanism. You have deep relationships with other people that are benevolent, that are good, that are healthy. You love people. People love you. You walk around the world, and you're not looking at strangers as potential enemies. You know, you you have a fundamentally benevolent approach to interacting with people. And so what does it mean to be good? None of those things have a career definition. None of those things have a perfect family fit. None of those things tell you if you should live close to your parents or not speak with them. None of those things tell you if you should work in finance or in construction. Um, but with any of those op- optional choices... There is a path where you are living those values of work, of knowledge, of agency, of humanism. And that translates to that normal, healthy, thriving, good life. Mm 